Hey guys, and on today's video, I'm taking a look at Spreadshop.com. So this is connected to YouTube, and that's why I'm making this video about it, because I'm about to do it. So we're going to log in, and uh, we do need to create an account. So on the top right-hand side, we're going to see Login, click on it. And then if you're new, just like me, you would go into New here, Open a Spreadshop. From here, it's going to ask you to choose a country, so go ahead. For most of you, it's going to be the US, so that's going to be a .com, and for others, there could be others, depending where you guys are watching this from, including Canada. In my case, I'm gonna choose US. I'm gonna agree, and we are gonna register. So right now, all we have to do is put in our shop name, just create one, put in your email. Now, this doesn't have to be the same email that you use for YouTube, it could be a totally different one. Then go into password, you do have to create a new password. Then click on, I'm not a robot, click on accept, and click on get started now. Now once you click on get started, you're gonna see this. And you can go on and go through the checklist and then begin the tour. So you guys can go on and create. And we're just gonna go on and try it out. So you guys can go on and do this right away. However, you already created this. Um, you do need something, some type of image to sell here or do something. So just remember that the file types that you need would be JPEG, PNG, SVG, and AI. If you guys are a graphic designer, or if you know anything about that, then SVG would be the best, or AI as well, since those things will not pixelate. Anyways, just go into Browse. And under Browse, for example, I have these images that I created from before. So I'm just going to go on and choose this one. I'm going to upload it. What you usually want is something, a big image, if you're just using a JPEG, for example. And then from here, you guys can just keep going. So I'm going to click right here. And then you're going to notice on the left-hand side, you're going to see notifications. So just check out your notifications. And you're going to see this under notifications. So click on it. And this is very important because this is where you're going to see. So this is kind of like your email for them, kind of. Also, you're going to notice on the left hand side, you're going to see tips and tools. You're going to see stats right here, your designs and your dashboard. Let's not forget about the shop and you can set up sales channel. So I just want to show you under your dashboard. That's your first option. You're going to see this create and then all this checklist. So you should follow the checklist if you scroll down. You're going to see all of these tutorials that you guys can go on and take. So I would do those, just play them and see how everything works. However, if you're watching this, you should be good to go anyways. So right here, create product. So we were actually doing that. And then let's say you guys choose a design. You guys can always click on the middle of it. And then you're going to see this. It's going to give you options of what you could do. So with this design, I could just put it on a t-shirt, cup, everything that I want. So in my case, I'm just going to go on into a men's hoodie, click in the middle, and then you guys can design this a little bit. So you guys can choose the design size, just go up and down. It's going to be on the left hand side. You make it as big as possible. I wouldn't do that. Always keep it within the margin. You can also move it around a little bit. And then the product color, you can choose it as well. It doesn't have to be white, it could be black or any other one that you like. For example, blue, I'm going to leave it at that blue, the printing areas. Well, that's gonna show you exactly where, but the most important is the design part. And you can choose horizontal, vertical, and play around with that. Now, let's say you're done and you think this is good enough. Click on done on the right-hand side. You guys will see that, top right-hand side. Click on done, or going to next product. In this case, we're gonna go into done, and we're done with that specific product. We're just gonna leave that one as of now, because this is just a tutorial to get you started. And if you want to edit it again, you can always do that. You can go back to it. And from here, you guys can just edit that product again, if you're not satisfied with what it is. Anyways, we're just going to click on done. But anyways, from this page on the right hand side, you guys will notice next, going to next. And once you're here, just go on and just fill all this up. So your design name, description of what it is, any tags that you guys want there. There's going to be suggested tags down here below and then just going to publish once you're done that. So again, on the top right hand side, you guys are gonna see publish, click on publish, and we've done the first checklist. So that's create product. Next is set up your shop. So just go into set up your shop. You're gonna see all these things right here and just make it your own. So you guys can customize this as much as you like or leave it as is. It could be extremely, extremely simple. And one of the most important things that you should do on the left hand side 
this logo. Just putting your own logo there. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Just go by the shop name and that's good enough. From there on the top right hand side, you're gonna see save. So just click on save. You can edit this later on by the way. So don't worry about it. Then go into activate spread shop. So just go into activate spread shop. You guys will see this. And right now on the left hand side, you're gonna see this online, offline. Just take it online once you're ready and then do all this stuff. So you've got to put in your company name, country, street address, building, zip code, uh, city, and then click on done once you fill that up. So once again, once you fill all this information up, which I just did, click on done on the bottom. Once you fill up all that information, you should see this 25% off. So this is very important because you want to promote this this way. So you can go on into visit shop at this point and also share this on social media. So it does give you these options right away. But anyways, let's just visit our shop, click on agree and we are all done. So you guys have officially finished with the whole setup. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.